CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman, is joining us now with more. Paul, what is the reason people are turning out really in historic numbers on the streets of Israel? Well, first of all, Marcia, this is, the, I think, the most sweeping popular protests ever um, in, in Israel since the founding of the nation 75 years ago. It is really a very severe, dramatic test for the government of Benjamin Netanyahu, who was trying to reform the judicial system in the country, uh, which would make it, uh, which would take away some of the judicial's independence. And a lot of people in the crowd are there, and they're from all sort of walks of life across Israel, saying that this would damage democracy in the nation. So the struggle has become uh, about, about exactly that, a very profound moment in Israel's history. Uh, Netanyahu uh, will, there have been lots of reports this morning that Netanyahu was going to step in and stop this reform protest uh, because of the chaos across the country largely after weeks and weeks of protests like this. However, there are members of his, far right members of his government who want to continue and say Netanyahu must not give in to anarchy. So he risks um, he risks popular protest or the collapse of his minority government, his coalition government, Marcia. So pressure is mounting on Netanyahu to do something. What is his position right now, Paul? What is he saying? Sure. Well, the risk, as I said, for Netanyahu is losing the government that he put together just recently, uh, that some of the far-right members would essentially resign, would not be part of the coalition anymore. The government would collapse and would have to, would have to be new elections in Israel. And there have been, you know, umpteen elections over the last uh, decade or so mm -hmm. in the country. It is a very grave crisis for Netanyahu, for the country itself. Many people feel it would risk these judicial reforms, if they go through, would risk the, uh, the country's economy, would risk democracy, would risk the security of Israel. So there's a huge amount at stake here. Paul Workman for us in London as we continue to watch what is happening on the streets of Israel. Paul, thank you for that update.